Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Leo Plus Gemini love reading for the month of April. Do keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So I do have Leo over here, Gemini on this side. Do keep in mind some of you, the reading could resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. Just because I have specific sides for you does not mean that the energy still can't come out backwards. And if you are looking for another Zodiac sign, check it out. It'll probably maybe be on my channel. If it's not up yet, it will be up soon. So ring that bell so you are alerted when releases come out. Try to ring that bell because uh, these are all timed readings. So you want to catch them when they come out. I did not get timeless readings out yet. So let's look into it. Let me see. I want to see Leo's feelings for Gemini. Spirit, show me Leo's feelings for Gemini for the month of April. Thank you. All right, Leo, your feelings are the chariot, the world, and the Two of Cups. All right. You feeling really good about Gemini. Um, things are definitely moving forward in a beautiful direction for you, Leo. Um, if you were dealing with very difficult cycles with your Gemini, it definitely looks like you two are getting through pretty hard cycles and really finding a sense of victory for this connection. You feel really good about Gemini. You definitely feel like you can move forward with this connection. A lot of you are either coupled up with one or you are connecting to a newer Gemini that feels like a soulmate to you and it really is helping you move forward in your life maybe a Gemini is actually helping you move on from an ending or you and your Gemini are just really moving past a lot of tense difficult cycles and really connecting on a beautiful abundant level it feels really good to you it feels like a sense of success for you so that looks nice let's see what Gemini is feeling for you Leo Spirit, please show me Gemini's feelings for Leo for the month of April. Gemini's feelings for Leo for the month of April. All right. And Gemini's feelings are the Four of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, my gosh. All right, so Gemini is very interested in being with you. They want to couple up with you. They feel very lucky. Whatever is happening bef between the two of you right now, they feel like it's luck. They feel like it's fate. They feel like it's destiny to be with Leo. Or if you're meeting a new Gemini, Ace of Cups definitely could. Like I said, some of you, this Gemini is actually helping you move on from an ending and see that love is still out there. Ace of Cups, they feel like this is like destiny. This is sacred to them. And they feel very very happy with you if you are in a relationship with a gemini you two are definitely moving forward things are definitely changing in beautiful positive directions if you are meeting a new gemini there is definitely a very high chance that you start a relationship with this person or move towards a relationship they feel like they could fall in love with you or this person is already in love with you and this definitely could be a past Gemini coming back in. And if they're coming back in, they're coming back in to be with you again. It's not just, hey, what's up? How are you doing? No, it's, hey, Leo, let's get back together. Okay. Wow. And I think you're reading for March. I think the Leo and Gemini had the most positive for March all signs. Um, March Leo plus two. Interesting. I, I think if I'm remembering correctly. So let's look into Gemini's actions towards you because they feel pretty good. Spirit, please show me what are Gemini's actions towards Leo for the month of April. All right, we have the Four of Wands. I told you. I told you. If this is a new Gemini, a past Gemini, a current Gemini, there is relationship status here. We have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Wow, so you may have been dealing with a Gemini who was very, very, very player-like. Like, very player-like. Like, they they like to get around. Sorry, Gemini, if you're watching this. And something may be drastically changing here where they're just like, nope, I want to settle down with Leo. 
I want to be with Leo. I don't want to be independent. I don't want to keep my options on open anymore. Leo is the one I want. Leo is the person for me. You have the 1111 card on top of each other. They are making huge changes. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Clarify that three of swords. Some of you have may already felt hurt by this Gemini, but like they're trying to show you that they're completely different this time around. Or like I said, this Gemini is going to show you that not everybody is what you're used to dealing with. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini's actions towards Leo. The five of pentacles. Clarify the five of pentacles. Three of swords, five of pentacles. The three of wands. Interesting. Why is the three of wands here? All right. Some of you Leos, you were separated from this person for a very, very long time. Or you were dealing with a lot of crappy situations for a very long time until you met this Gemini. Three of Wands, Two of Wands. Okay, this is very interesting. So a lot of you Leos, I feel like this Gemini, they're making big changes. Because if they're your current or past Gemini, they weren't the greatest to you, were they? No, they weren't. But I don't know what the heck is happening with them. Like, this is a full-on reinvention to somebody saying to themselves, like, I don't... You know the song I'm hearing? Um, who the hell sings that song? I don't know, but it goes, I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Na -na 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 -na. It's an old school song. Something like that. I'm getting that vibe. So, new Gemini, they were a player. I'm going to tell you that. They may not have the best history. They may have been a heartbreaker. Maybe not to you. They were a heartbreaker, Leo. Oof. All right, let's clarify that one more time. Let's get to your actions after. Give me that two of wands clarification. The devil. Here you go. They're making a conscious choice to not be manipulative anymore. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm sorry. They're making a conscious choice to not be manipulative anymore. It's like they're saying to themselves, like I just said in that song. So it looks like if this new Gemini is coming around, I feel um, they were a heartbreaker in the past. Maybe they just weren't ready for love. Maybe they just weren't ready to settle down. I don't know what it is about you that's making them want to settle down. I mean, what isn't it about you? You know, of course, Leo. <laughs> but I don't know. There's something about you that's just like, I want to settle down with Leo. They may also have even like thought that they... We're going to just treat you like an option. And then something changed for them. Where they were like, I thought I was going to put Leo as an option. But actually, I don't want to be a player no more. Others of you, this Gemini did play you already. You were the person they played. You were the person they broke. You were the person they hurt. And I don't know what the heck happened. But they're making a very conscious decision to say that they don't want to be this way anymore. And to see that and... Tarot is very interesting. So let's see what your actions are going to be back towards this Gemini. It's like the player caught feelings or like you got like the uncommittal energy to commit or something. Clarify. Um, no, give me Leo's actions towards Gemini. Leo's actions towards Gemini. We have temperance. So some of you were very patient with this Gemini. We have the queen of pentacles and the hierophant. Wow. So you do want to be with them despite who they were in the past, what they did to you in the past or what their history is. You're almost like, you know, we all, we all have history. We all have things we've done. We all have things we did. And some of you, you are just in a position of Having hope and healing and actually trusting that this Gemini is going to show you that they're different and they won't hurt you. You definitely look like you want to be in a relationship with this person as well. Um, clarify that Hierophant for Leo's actions towards Gemini. You were very patient or you are being very patient with them. Nine of Wands, yeah. 
For a lot of you, Leos, you feel like the wounded warrior with this person because you've been patient and you've been hurt and you've been through a lot with this energy. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Others of you, Leos, like I said, this new energy is coming in. You've been hurt. You've been bruised. You are in a protection-like state around your heart, but you can't help but feel this connection. And it looks like they, whether hurt or bruised in the past, I feel like they did have player tendencies. And whatever they're seeing in you, Leo, is grand enough to them to want to change. Oops, sorry. Or want to be different or want to transform or reinvent themselves and be like, you know what? I used to be a player, but this Leo looks and feels too good to me to do that to them. Nine of Wands, Leo's actions. The Ace of Swords, yeah. You want to see truth. You want to see clarity. You want to see integrity. You want to see realness, right? You want to see that you are going to help heal. You are going to um, show me you're truthful now. Show me you're not going to play me now. Show me this. Show me that. Or this newer energy is definitely something that feels pretty victorious to you. Despite you having the block around your heart, the feeling cannot be ignored for sure. Oof, what a reading. It took a little bit of a turn for a second, but then it was like, oh, actually, okay. Okay, sorry. We're clarifying the devil before we finish. Clarify the devil for Gemini and their actions towards Leo. Oh my God. All right. There it is. It's three cards, right? I guess whatever they said to take it. Can Gemini have any more cards over here? All right. Wow. Woohoo! Queen of Swords, a star, and the Eight of Wands. Some of you, you had to stand up to yourself, to this Gemini. You did. Some of you cut them off. Some of you just spoke your mind, spoke your truth, and they're kind of like, Leo, I love you. I wish for you. I hope for you. I want to move forward with you. And even if this is a newer Gemini, maybe you two had a little bit of a conversation about your past and about your history, and it almost made them more attracted to you for some reason. Maybe you weren't as phase, and you're like, okay, I used to be a player, whatever. Or, okay, that's who you were back then. Like, that's great. Or, I don't know, you just seem so unfazed to this person, and it's making them very, very, very attracted to you. Um, interesting. Okay. Definitely a lot of conversation, a lot of movement here. The attraction towards you is just undeniable. And there's just something about you. There's just something about Leo to this Gemini that is giving them just, I have to change or I have to do this or I have to do that or I have to be different or I want to be different or I'm dropping all my options for Leo. I definitely feel a relationship here. So give me two for Leo, two for Gemini for the Oracle. In terms of zodiac signs in your spread, you have temperance, you have Taurus, you have Taurus, you have temperance with Sag, you have um, Hierophant with Taurus, you have Cancer with the Chariot, you have Capricorn, and you have Aquarius. So, Leo, Oracle time. You have fear and reinvention. Can can this get any more synchronized? So you're fearful that this person hasn't changed or you fear that this person is still in their player vibes or they still have a wandering eye, new, old, current. It doesn't matter. You just fear that this person has not fully changed yet. They come in as bound to divine timing. So they are working on their manipulative energy or whatever the heck they do or whatever they did. Um, and maybe they were just waiting for the right time and the right moment to settle down or to choose an, or to, to choose someone. I don't know. Let's see. Why is bound here to divine timing for Gemini? Offer. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they were just waiting for the right person and you're the right person, Leo, or maybe they were just waiting for the right time, the right moment um, to reinvent, fix themselves and change and show that to you. Wow. All right. Let's get the island time and close you out here, Leo and Geminis, if you're here. This is for Leo dealing with a Gemini for the month of April. 
Leo dealing with a Gemini for the month of April. We have addiction. Yep. We have the devil twice. We have boat progressing. All right. And twin flames. Wow. There it is. I felt it. I'm like, I don't know. There's just something about you, Leo. And there's something about this Gemini. That's why um, you feel this is a very strong connection. This is almost twin flame. Like, I mean, it's coming out. Um, and addiction to both. So that means that there is an energy around moving past this codependent issue, this controlling, this block, this restraint, this manipulation, this whatever the case may be, finally receiving what you need, finally closing out the past, either on your end or on their end and changing and shifting and, you know, balancing each other out, complimenting each other and really feeling that true connection. So this is what I have here for you, Leo and Gemini, if you're here. Thank you for being here and for watching. Uh, please do not forget to like the videos and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.